This tutorial has been brought to you by Profitable Business Guide, your online marketing guide. Hi, this is Sine, and today's unscripted video is installing and using WordPress themes. Now, there are a bunch of free themes out there, and there are a bunch of professional themes uh, as well. I strongly recommend you go with a professional theme, simply because it makes the maintenance of the whole thing a little bit easier for you. Um, and professional themes tend to have more advanced SEO features or maintenance features. So, uh, I'm going to be installing and utilizing uh, elegant themes. You can find a link for that theme down below this video, uh, and I sh I recommend you go check them out. They've got more than 35 themes. They're beautiful. They're professional looking. They've got some built-in short codes, uh, some built-in features that I really think you'll enjoy. So if you're ready to learn how to find, install, and alter WordPress themes, come on, let's get started. Now, I mentioned to you that uh, Elegant Themes is one of the more professional themes uh, that I recommend. There are others out there, and they range in price anywhere from $79 to $120 per theme. Uh, and some of those, are, that's the price per theme, per, per domain. Uh, Elegant Themes is different in that you pay one fee for the year, uh, $39, and you get access to all nine pages of their themes. Now, I, uh, he's putting new ones out here all the time. As a matter of fact, the, the last time I was in here about a week ago, Elegant Estate was the last one that was here. So in the last week, he's added Deep Focus, Glider, and The Style. Now, I mentioned to you before that they're full of uh, all kinds of really neat features, but let's just take a quick look at how they look. So this is the style. Um, and it is, as you can tell, you know, just uh, gorgeous. Um, it, it has some neat features, like when you hover over it, it'll uh, drop the uh, read more down, uh, give you a little bit more uh, of a summary. Uh, does the light box technology has a templated area, or rather a widget area, down at the bottom of the theme? I mean, just very, very nice, very professional. Glider, another new one, uh, allows. Uh, uh, everything, the home, the portfolio, and the about me to be on one page and it just slides it up based on what they click. Again, kind of a neat feature. Uh, you can see that he's got a lot of built-in light box uh, technology. I mean, just really uh, some interesting things that are going on in the blog that are already pre-programmed. You don't have to, you know, add a bunch of pl plugins to make this work. He also has uh, some features built in. Uh, for example, uh, he has a series of short codes that are available uh, to the, the newer blog themes. I mean, now obviously he hasn't gone back and done, uh, updated all of the older themes to include the short codes, but all of his newer themes uh, do include them. And these are things like um, buttons, uh, collections, and, and uh, toggled content and content boxes. Uh, you can take a look here and see uh, just how many features are available to you with Elegant Themes. You you get um, content boxes that with just you know changing a type inside the box uh, or adding one of these little short codes, uh, it'll display one of these type boxes or it will toggle content like this or allow you to see tabbed content in two different styles, the vertical and the horizontal. Um, slideshow features, and again, these are all these are all short codes. You add a little snippet of code, uh, and you tell it what you want to include within the body of the tab, and it just it just does it. Image sliders, uh, so that you can scroll and rotate between multiple images. Just very nice features. Tool tips. Uh, Used to be you had to program this uh, pretty extensively with Elegant Themes. It's just kind of a, a short code built in. Uh, all you have to do is write the tooltip short code uh, around anything you want to um, have a tooltip jump up on. Um, built in social media, built in password protecting, built in author boxes. Now, if you've been following my blog, you know that I use a lot of additional plugins like um, Digging Designs, AdSig to get this kind of feature. Gosh, it's already built into the theme now. So I'm eliminating a lot of the plugins that I uh, am using, but I'm, but I'm not giving up any of the features. He even has 
column layouts. So there's, you know, a half and half, there's thirds, quarters, um, and you can even mix and match. One third and two thirds, one fourth, one fourth, one half. I mean, just beautiful layouts, beautiful features uh, that you don't have to be a programmer to implement. So I'm going to suggest uh, that you know, if you have a choice and if you have the means, I mean, $39 for the year that it, you know, skip, uh, skip going out to Chili's with your wife or husband one night and this is paid for. But there are a lot of features built into these themes. Go grab you uh, a, a membership with Elegant Themes and get access to all of these features. Uh, one of the short codes we missed earlier, I, I think I scrolled right past it, were the button varieties, small buttons, big buttons, icon buttons. Uh, again, just just from that standpoint alone, having this built into your, your blog theme uh, can make it worth its weight in gold. So come check out Elegant Themes. There's a link down below this video. Check that out. Um, and then we're going to cover now how to uh, choose the one we want, download it to our computer, extract it, and then upload it back to our WordPress blog. Okay, so let's hop back over to the themes that we want to choose from. Uh, now, once you're a member, you'll be able to log in. Uh, but until then, you know, it's it, you can take a look to see what theme you'd like uh, you'd like to download. Now, a lot is going to depend on what you're doing with your blog, what your niche is, um, what you hope to accomplish, what your target market uh, is, and how many people are going to be viewing it. Uh, do you want it to be photocentric, or is it a lot more one-on-one uh, -on -one information or training material? Um, Elegant Themes has a lot of themes uh, that cover just the gambit. If you're just you know a, a straight-up blogger, there's a theme for you. If you are mixing a website with your blog, there's a theme for you. If you just want uh, like a business card style, there's a theme for you. If you've got a product you're selling, there's a theme for you. Now I mentioned earlier that Elegant Themes is a membership site so in order to gain access to any of the themes once you have selected them you will need to log into your member area. Um, once you've uh, purchased it, it he'll provide the login details. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in on mine. Now no peeking. Once logged in, you'll be able to scroll down and see all of the themes that are available to you. Now, I recommend you use the gallery over here for viewing them. Once you know your theme, you'll be able to find it in the list. It is listed alphabetically. Uh, so, for example, if we wanted to go get Deep Focus, we would highlight this and then click Download File. After a moment, our Windows dialog would come up and offer us the opportunity to save the file. Now I mentioned earlier we're going to save it to our local computer and then we're going to extract it so that we can upload it. So I'm going to choose a location on my computer to save this file. As it happens I have a, a directory devoted to themes uh, and I have a directory devoted just to elegant themes. I mean I do a lot of blogs so I have access to a lot of different themes uh, Elegant Themes is the one I use the most. For. So I'm going to save it to this location and since I've already downloaded it of course I'm going to overwrite it but I'm going to give it an opportunity to finish saving and then I'll go extract it and then upload it to my blog. Okay it's downloading. Be done just a sec. Okay it's all done and now present on my computer and I mentioned earlier that um, it, it, he does include an awful lot of files in there so let's go navigate to where I downloaded it uh, that was under here. Blogging. Okay, so it's a zip file in here, as you can tell right down here. There it is, deep focus. So I have a couple of choices, and to make things easy, I'm just going to extract it right where I'm at. So I'm going to choose right mouse and extract all. I'm going to get rid of this uh, because I happen to know there's a folder inside. So it's going to say, do we want to merge it? I'm just going to say yes. So, as you can tell, it is quite large, and the majority of that is the Photoshop files. As you can tell right here, it's, it is quite large. Uh, most of that is Photoshop um, files. It's not That's not a part of the uh, theme that you have to upload. So, here's the Photoshop files, and again, these are um, files that he's created that allow you to, if you wanted to go change your theme at a core level, uh, here are the original images that you can use to do that. 
Um, he also has it split out by color themes. Uh, a lot of the theme relies on images to make it look really, really nice. So here's the theme that you'll need to upload. It's under the theme folder. It's called Deep Focus. So this folder and all of its contents are what we need to upload to our host. So I'm going to use FileZilla to do that. And if you've never seen FileZilla, um, I do have another video on uh, finding it, installing it, and using that. Okay, once connected, I simply navigate to where my blog theme is located. Okay, and I'm going to place this under my simple success system. Now, Carol, please forgive me. I'm borrowing yours. Uh, my site happened to be down at the time I was recording my video. We're doing some control panel maintenance, so please forgive me. Um, but as you know, wherever you've installed WordPress, there is a WP content directory. We want to navigate to the themes directory. Um, and then on the left-hand side, go find where I placed that extracted file. Now, if you remember, I have that under Downloads, Online, Blogging, Themes, Elegant, and then Deep Focus. Now, guys, i got to tell you, it is crucial that you remain organized. Otherwise, trying to find something uh, in this haystack would be just a little bit crazy. So, to move Deep Focus into this theme folder, I'm just going to right mouse and say Upload. I'm going to give it a few moments to complete, and then once it's done, I'll be able to log into my blog, into the dashboard, and select and activate that theme. So, I hope this has helped. This has really been a quick unscripted video on how to find um, a, a good theme, and again, I highly recommend uh, Elegant Themes extract it to your local computer, and then upload it to your remote site. So until next time, this is Sine signing off, wishing you happy blogging.